Hello, we've got a windy weekend in prospect across northwestern Europe thanks to Storm Jorge. Named by the Spanish Met Service, it's this area of low pressure here, that tight curl on the satellite picture bringing in the very strong winds uh, initially to the UK, but then increasingly through Sunday across into Scandinavia, the low countries, the north of France and as far south as Germany. Some wetter weather coming in again, I think, to the north of France and the southern UK as well. In contrast, it's much quieter for Greece, for Turkey, for Cyprus, as we look at the second half of the weekend sunshine across uh, Romania too. But more rain in the forecast for the Balkans, also extending in to the Alps. Still pretty mild though in this part of the world, so not that much in the way of snow. Some heavier rain, again, as I said, for the north of France and eventually pushing in to the low countries. Monday is a very messy day. Still some clearer conditions to be found uh, across the eastern half of the Med. Elsewhere though, well, good luck dodging the rainfall because those weather systems are going to be coming in thick and fast. Overall, uh, a relatively mild picture, but as you can see in our outlook for the coming five days, almost everywhere getting the rain at some stage. It does look like prospects will be drier across uh, the core of Europe, if you like, by the second half of the week. For the northwest, though, it looks like things will remain pretty unsettled in the days ahead. Hello. Some big temperature contrasts across North America this weekend. Very cold polar air on Saturday across eastern Canada and into a, a good part of the northeast of the US. Further south, it's pretty mild across the plains and up into the Rockies as we look at air coming up around the western flank of an area of high pressure. But this area of low pressure in the northwest is going to start to come into play through the early part of the week ahead and it will develop quite explosively as it runs into that warmer air and then heavy rain will target the Mississippi Valley. In contrast, it's pretty quiet actually for Saturday. Still like to see a little bit of snow across British Columbia, some getting across into Alberta, mostly rain for the far northwest of the US. Further south, some patchy cloud as we look towards the Nevada desert. We will, I think, uh, see some wintry flurries though out of that low for Winnipeg on Sunday and then some rainfall coming in again to Vancouver on Monday. Through to the east, quite a lot of cloud across eastern Canada on the tail end of an area of low pressure for Saturday, but it is a much drier story as our weather front pulls into the Atlantic, but cold with that northwesterly wind. Sunshine as we head down into the south and Florida. But as I said, the story will change quite dramatically as that low pressure comes into play for the early part of the new week. Hello. Looking at our latest South American satellite picture, we can pick out a weather front, part of a system that's now extending out into the South Atlantic, but still trailing back across central Brazil. But it's going to give us yet more relentless rain in some parts through Saturday. And in fact, it's also going to help, I think, uh, spur on the showers that we'll see right the way through into central Peru. So above average rainfall here for the next 24 hours. The skies are comparatively clearer further north across northern Colombia, parts of Venezuela, Guiana, French Guiana and Suriname. Quite a few showers though sitting to the north of Brazil, driest probably along the east coast somewhere between Salvador and Carvelas. Then though we head into the southern half of the continent and there will be actually a lot of fine weather for Argentina, for Uruguay, Paraguay and northern Chile. Rio though looks like it will be stuck with those showers at least for the next few days. Contrast that to the picture in Buenos Aires with faultless blue skies. Across Central America, some sunshine from Mexico on Saturday, quite showery for Nicaragua and Honduras. Some of those showers linking up with the tail end of a weather front pulling away from the east coast of the US. Some showers again across the Caribbean and uh, a slight dip in the temperatures for Cuba, just 22 in Havana, a few degrees below average as we pull in the colder air from further north. But the temperatures recover fairly promptly here in the coming days. Hello, we begin our look at the forecast for the Middle East and Africa by heading in on our satellite picture, a great snapshot really of where we are at the moment. Plenty of showers across the equatorial belt. A focus I think in the next few days, perhaps on some heavier ones to the east, some streaming out of northern Madagascar, pushing into Tanzania and across into Malawi. Further south, largely dry across the Western Cape on Sunday, but for the interior and further eastwards, some heavier downpours to come. 
looking at pretty clear skies to the north of the continent. Increasing risk though of some sandstorms across the southern Sahara. Patchy cloud possible for Casablanca and Algiers uh, in the short term, but I think we'll see more in the way of sunshine as we go further on into the week ahead. Showers for Lilongwe and Harare, some heavy downpours in the short term for Johannesburg too, but much warmer and drier by Thursday. Across the Middle East, a lot of dry weather, but some heavier showers again for the Levant. Heavy downpours for northern Iraq, stretching across into Iran. And to the south of the showers, there are some pretty gusty winds stirring up, I think, quite a bit of dust and sand across southern Iraq and also for northern Saudi Arabia. But as you can see, the winds are not really having any effect around the Gulf itself, at least in the shorter term. Plenty of sunshine to be found for Damascus and Baghdad as we look further ahead. Hello. Looking at our latest Indian satellite picture, things look pretty quiet and for many that's the way it will stay through the course of the weekend. But some of these showers as they extend into Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh, although isolated, could get pretty intense in the next 48 hours. Also some more heavy rain to come out of this weather system which will affect northern Pakistan. For the next couple of days at least, perhaps a few of those showers working their way in close to Delhi too. I think though it should largely stay dry here on Sunday. Let's head further north and take a look at what's happening across Kazakhstan. Some much colder air in place here. So uh, sub-zero temperatures likely for many parts of Kazakhstan in the coming days. For Nur Sultan, three on Sunday with some winter sunshine. 21 in Tashkent, still very much on the mild side here. 14 for Kabul. For Islamabad, I think a dry story. Uh, come Sunday, the showers moving away. Further south, sunshine across the Maldives and Sri Lanka, and we take that sunshine all the way through the east coast of India and up into Bangladesh. In terms of our outlook though for the coming days, I think we will see some showers moving into Islamabad and some cooler air by the end of the coming week. Looking like things will get more unsettled across Sri Lanka too. And uh, some quite notable changes for Nur Sultan as we're plunged into sub-zero air from Monday onwards. Hello. Taking a look at our latest Asian satellite picture, you can see once again that the showers remain heavy across southern Indonesia. You can also see the remnants of Esther to the northwest of Australia. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. But for now, let's head north and catch up with this weather front, which is sitting across southeastern China. Not particularly potent at the moment, but some more rain here for Sunday. Showers getting into northern Taiwan too. But actually some pretty warm air getting pulled up to the south of that weather system above average temperatures in Taipei. Bit of patchy cloud drifting in to Laos. A lot of sunshine though for Vietnam and across Thailand. But we meet up with the heavier showers, particularly across southern Indonesia, but not exclusively. Uh, a few pushing a good way north too, but it's certainly looking pretty unsettled for Jakarta in the coming days. I think we could see one or two showers breaking out for Singapore as well. Now to Australia, there's the remnants of Esther kind of grinding to a halt here uh, close to the Kimberley Plateau. We could see 300 mils of rain out of that before we're done, whereas this weather front, which will push into the southeast of Australia, uh, bringing fairly light rain actually for most in the next 48 hours or so. It will eventually take some showers into the South Island of New Zealand uh, earlier on into the new week. But for the North Island, unfortunately, the picture remains stubbornly dry in the coming days and it looks like the drought is set to continue in the short term at least. 